Hello and welcome back to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya and today we're going to play in some makeup. I don't have a rhyme or a reason. I just felt like putting on some makeup and decided I would go ahead and film it as well. I traditionally try to do um, or usually try to do beauty bites where the um, video isn't as long but today we're going to put on face, complexion, and eyeshadow so I'm not going to break it up we're just going to go one fell swoop and hopefully it won't be that too long of a video um, for people to watch um, so let's get started I already have done like um, moisturizer and such on the face so we're going to take off the glasses so say it with me I can't see a thing put those over there and what we're going to start off with is I got this Pretty Filter uh, Icy Sherbet Primer from Touch and Soul. And we're going to use this. I'm going to start using my BoxyCharm stuff. I know I give a lot of stuff away, but the stuff that I keep, I still traditionally don't use. It is a jelly-like consistency. It is very cool. It's supposed to be a cooling primer. This is what it looks like on the inside. It does have a scent. And we're just going to, oh, it just melts here. I used what was in the cap first. And then we'll go into the primer itself. All right. So, so far, so good. It's not like that um, lip bar primer that I've been trying to use. When you put that on, it does sink directly into the skin like this does, but this leaves a bit of a feeling of hydration. That lip bar primer, I don't know, the, the face primer, it just feel like it sunk in and dissipated, but left my skin feeling, I don't want to say tight or taut, but it just left it feeling like I didn't put anything on it. Not that you want to feel the primer, but... It just felt like I just swiped something, so I might just use that in targeted areas. So we have that on. Next, because I am over 40, over 45 actually, we're going to be using from Urban Decay, an oldie but goodie. This is their private potion, but this is the anti-aging version. So we're going to use that on the eyes. And I have my handy dandy mirror here so I can see a little bit of what I'm doing. So I'm usually flying by the seat of my pants when I'm doing these videos because I am near sighted. I can't see far away. And even though this mirror and this camera setup is dead smack in my face, it's still far away enough. And it's blurry and I don't see details so I everything is a little bit blurry I don't see details of things I'm going to put on some from my um, ipsy lip food from eco lips see can you see that there we go from eco lips this is a vanilla lavender pumpkin with pumpkin seed oil um, situation lip balm so we're gonna put that on the lips so that that can be moisturizing and hydrating while we're going through everything else that's dealing with this face. Now, I'm going to be using something different for, for the face. This is the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. I have the color Clove, Cur well, Curvious Clove number 28. And I am clove across the board in all of um, Clinique's products. So I thought I would use a foundation stick for once. I mean, I have it. Why not use it, right? And I hope the brush that I brought out for this is going to work. Otherwise... I would have to jump up, get a, another brush, and go from there. So we've applied that all over the face. I believe these are about 25, between 25 and 29 dollars. 
And because I loved it so much with that liquid foundation, we're going to use the um, Kat Von D um, Beveled Edged Foundation Brush number 10. And we're just going to melt that into the skin. We're just going to just buff it in. And it seems to be working. We're gonna just buff, 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 buff that into the skin. And I really like Clinique's um, foundations. I have the even two even better ones. One is in the original, and the other one is even better glow, so it's a little bit more luminous. Because I have normal to dry skin. I only have hormonal breakouts which is enough for me <laughs> that's quite enough for me as far as the hormonal breakouts having any kind of acne on the pimples on the skin okay so we're done with that next I'm going to be I'm also using some newer products this I got in a this was either from a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy, one of those. And this is the Morphe. I did not pay for this separately. It came in a box or a bag. Um, the Morphe uh, Concealer in C5.45. Usually I use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Hazelnut. But I always use that, so we're going to try this for these under eyes. Ooh. And it seems to be a little orangey red here. But I got something for that. And you might know what it is. I got something for this. So I'm going to use that same brush again to buff out this color under the eye. And take it up into like an angle following the natural angle of my eye so that's not too bad but it's definitely my um, hazelnut is a little bit more peachy I would say and it's brighter so this is giving me a little bit of red but to fix all of that, tried and true, L'Oreal True Match um, Soft Sable C6 Powder. This is what is going to bring back the lightness under the eyes, but not too light. Powder. And I still have to, now you don't have to powder your face after you use that chubby stick, but I will be. And for that, we have the Lip Bars Set the Tone Finishing Powder in Bronze Beauty. And we're going to use Elf's um, Powder Brush for that. I'm just digging in and swiping on and hopefully this will also cut down on some of that redness that came from the concealer but again you don't have to set that chubby stick if you don't want to it really melts into the skin and kind of dries down into a slight powdery finish But I got all this stuff, all this makeup, might as well use it, right? Next, we're going to go on to our eyes. Um, in a lot of the lives or the people that I follow on YouTube, everybody has been talking about how they're using their little microfiber towelettes to clean off makeup brushes and fingers and hands from swatches and this and that. So I went and got mine. Now I got a pack of three like this in different colors and patterns 
from Walmart for like three bucks many years ago. So I'm not sure if they still sell them, but it's much cheaper than buying the um, makeup eraser. It looks like I cracked my nail there. Now for the eyes, this is where it's getting complicated. You know what? Let's do cheeks because I'm not ready to do the eyes. So this is the blush from Minted. This is their um, blush in the color Clay Too Much. And this is one of their best sellers. I think this is the best selling blush that they sent that they have. And for this, we're going to use our um, LaRousse LR309 blush brush. And it has a mirror. And this has been my first time. I've swatched it, but I've never used it. I do really like terracotta colored blushes. So let's see what happens with this. There's one by Josie Marin that is sold on QVC. I can't remember the name, but the brush that comes with that is excellent. It's superb. I have two of them. I bought it. I bought the blush again just to get the brush because it was such a great brush. Um, and then I really enjoyed the, um, the actual blush itself. It has argon oil in it. So it's definitely good for your skin. So again, I figured if I can see it in the monitor, that you can see it too. So this is clay too much. All right. I like that. Now, and onto the eyes. This is where I struggled. I couldn't think about, I couldn't think of what I would like to have worn today for eyes. So I brought out three palettes, well, two palettes and a single. Um, I have on a gray top. I don't know what color is coming across, but it, it should be like a muted gray, like a dove gray. And this is from a brand called Fiona Styles. It used to be sold in Ulta, which is where I got this from. And um, it is sold on QVC, but not all of her products. At first, they were saying that she was rebranding, um, but then nothing really came of that. So this is the Artist Eyeshadow Quad in Electra from Fiona Styles. It has a mirror, and here are the colors. So we have that. From my BoxyCharm, I got the Dosa Colors. Black Party Shadow in Reflection. And there's that. And just to make things even more difficult, from the lip bar, I have a Smoker La Smoker's Lounge Eyeshadow Quad. And it looks like that. Now, the question becomes, how do I incorporate these shadows together so that they don't look like a hodgepodge mess? Let me get this open. All right. Now, from my Ipsy bag from April that I just got yesterday, I'm sorry, my March Ipsy Glam Bag Plus that I just got yesterday, yesterday. Today is April 24th. This is from my March Glam Bag Plus. The original bag got shipped and lost. Thank you, DHL, for whatever it is you did or didn't do that allowed me not to get my bag. But this is a replacement from their, that particular um, month subscription. So um, these are the MOTD. And I think it's supposed to be Makeup of the Day Eyeshadow Brush Set. They are pink with pink um, bristles. And of course, I had to bring out my BMX Moda Pro 430 and from Firma, the 202 Angle Brush. Okay? So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this brown here in the Lip Bar Palette with my Moda, just to set it for a base. Just 
just to set that. And this is basically skin tone. And this will help the other shadows glide on. So it's more like an anchor color. It's a little powdery. This is the lip bar smoker's lounge. All right. Next. Now I do have an ankle brush in this new set. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. But it's not the same. As you can see, of my firma, it's more the firma is more rounded. This seems to have more of an angled, sharper edge. So I'm going to go in with my firma into the um, Fiona Styles. This color here. We're going to put this right up under where we placed that brown. Now, she did have good pigmentation. This is a very old palette. Not very old. This palette is probably at least three years old. At the very least, 18, 20, maybe 20, 2017 is when I got it. 2017, 2018. Whenever she was sold in um, Ulta before all this pandemic stuff. All right. So I'm seeing it here. I'm not sure if you're seeing it, but I'm seeing it there. Next, I think I want to go in with this Black Party eyeshadow in the color Reflection using my fingers just to make sure I get the color on. Okay. And it works well like that. Alrighty. Wipe the hand off. The fingers off. And I think I'm going back into that Fiona Styles. And I'm going to go into this deeper purple. It is a, looks like a shimmer. And I'm going to try this blending brush from Makeup of the Day. So this will be the first brush that I use from that five-piece uh, quint. So I'm just going in, trying to saturate the brush with color. It doesn't seem to... It's picking up okay. But it's, yeah, I'm glad I got it in a boxy, I'm sorry, in an Ipsy. I didn't have to necessarily pay full price for it. How about that? So we're just putting this on the outer edge to bring these colors, this color story together here. And let's see. Let's go back into it. Get into it. Like Lala Bad says, check her channel out. Her name is Lala Bad, and she does a lot of um, uh, shadow looks, foundation um, tryouts, um, high end and affordable drugstore makeup. Lala Bad. She's usually, um, I think she might uh, post maybe three times a week. And I enjoy watching her because she has such an effervescent um, personality. I'm just going back into that purple again. Just trying to marry everything together. It's a nice purple. I think it's more of a satin than a matte. All right. So we got that together. Next. Tried and true lip bar straight out of patience eyeliner in the color black cuz not cuz I'm black that's um Fenty <laughs> And I do have a Fenty liner. I never bring it out though. I'm always using this lip bar liner I really like it. It's nice and creamy and black The only thing was I was sharpening it today and then the uh, tip broke off so it's 
the amount that you're seeing used is not the total amount that I've actually used it. It's more or less um, me having to sharpen it down to get down to where it broke off from to get some actual product. So let's put this on. I like it because it's very easy to glide onto the eye. It doesn't tug or pull and it leaves a nice saturation of color. Alright, let me close all these lovely things up. Next we're going to use some Ciate London. I just picked this out of there, the Triple Shot XXL Mascara. So I just grabbed something. But it's a pretty decent mascara. If you hear kids, they're outside playing. My next door neighbors, about three little boys. They're rarely outside, but when they are, you know it. I'm just glad their dog isn't barking through this. That dog is usually barking a whole lot. I might have just jinxed myself. Now I hear the dog. All right. Next, we're going to go into from the Sephora collection. This is a gel lip liner. I also use it as an eyeliner. <laughs> just because I want to, in the shade Molasses, number 17, Sephora. I'm not sure if they still make this or not. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wipe off that um, balm and Apply the lip liner. And I'm going to try a nude pencil. A nude, well, nude for me. Um, lipstick. All right, I really like that color, which is why I use it as a eyeliner as well. Okay, so the lipstick is from the Lip Stories. It's called Snuggle Weather. This is from Sephora as well. And this is their Lip Stories number 61, Snuggle Weather. And it's a brown, to me a brownie nude. It's a cream. And we're going to put some on. It reminds me of honey waffles, which is why I didn't get honey waffles from Fenty's Creams, Cost Creams. But maybe I should get it and then apply it on top of this. I don't know. It's definitely not as um, glossy. So I'm going to put the glasses on because I have yet one more thing to do. And that is to really anchor this face with brows. So let's do that. Let's get some brows on. They so don't look so nutty. brows and lashes can really make a look. Make it a break, I think. Oh, 
All right. So what are some things that you guys are like looking in your stash and saying, hey, I haven't worn that for a while or I haven't worn that ever. I bought it because I loved, I loved it when I bought it. Might have swatched it and just left it, um, left it in the drawer. I mean, I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of going out, buying products because I just got to have it, look at it, might not even swatch it or if I do swatch it and then I just put it in a drawer and never ever use it so are you guilty of doing that as well and then you go out and buy more makeup I really like this clay too much brush blush it's hard to say blush um, when you are a um, dealing with makeup What's this? Oh, powder. Ah, powder. Powder everywhere. I brought out my um, color switch as well to use. Just in case. And um, I'm also using that microfiber towel. And it got the majority of that purple off. So... It's a little bit stained, but that's okay. And that is today's look, everyone. Um, it's really creamy, but it reminds me of the honey waffles. So thank you so much. I appreciate your time that you're spending watching this video. I will have another video up as soon as possible. I'm waiting on some Sephora sale goodies and some BoxyCharm add-on goodies. And we'll go from there. We can look at what I bought and maybe put some of that stuff on and add it to the collection. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support, your encouraging words, your comments, all the likes. And I will see... Uh, everyone, um, another time when another video goes up, stay whimsical and let your inner whimsy shine. Bye-bye.